Hey, welcome everybody. So you wanna learn how to build an Android app, but you have no idea where to start. Well, in this series, I'm gonna walk you through creating your own native Android app. So if you've never coded before, if you've never programmed or have any software or computer science background, you could, you'll be able to follow along with this video and build the basic app. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna need is Android Studio. So to build our app, it's gonna be fully native in Kotlin, and I'll, and I'll, well, I'll walk you through everything, how to get it, how to, how to actually create the app. But go ahead and just Google Android Studio and you can see I already have it open here and it's for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So whatever platform you're on, you can download it and get started. So actually, already, so yeah, so just Google, Google Android Studio. Um, it'll take you to this page right here. Um, go ahead and download it and like I said, you can read about the features and stuff, but all you really need to do is just download it. There's some release notes and some other stuff at the bottom and like, uh, but yeah, it should suggest you what, what, to, what to get started with. Okay, well I, on my computer here, I already have it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and just open up Android Studio just like you would from any other application on your Windows or Mac or Linux. Uh, desktop or laptop or whatever, just whatever, however you normally open up apps, go ahead and do that. So this is Android Studio 3.0 and you'll see this option here to start a new Android Studio project. So let's click on that. And it's going to ask you for a couple of things. Now mine is already partially filled out because I've used it before. So I'll call this, I'll call this Kotlin First App. Okay, and then you can provide your domain name. If you don't have a domain name, just put in test.com. It's not really important for right now. Um, and then you can also just, uh, select a location for where your app's gonna be installed in your file system. So this will get us started in Android Studio. And one of the things I wanna point out is, and make sure it's checked, include Kotlin support. This is new in Android Studio 3.0, so just keep that checked and do next. Um, and this, uh, this screen has your kind of target devices. Um, just leave everything as is, no, no bother, no need to worry about changing anything in here. So I'm gonna hit next. And then on this screen, go ahead, and this is kind of like a template. What, do you, what template do you wanna start out with? So I'm just gonna go ahead and select basic activity and hit next. And it's gonna walk you, and it's gonna show some activity names. And if you don't know what an activity is, that's fine. We'll get to it. Um, so the defaults here are all good, so I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And this could take up to a minute depending upon how fast your computer is, but um, it's getting the projects, Android Studio is getting the projects set up for you right now. So just give it a minute here. And you can see it's loading it, and if you, and if you notice, you'll see this, what this kind of looks like an Android screen in front of you. So this is your very first Android project and this is the default template. So if I were to run it, I would see just this right here. So, so I wanna talk a little bit about devices. If you have an Android device, you can plug it into your PC, Mac, or Linux using a USB cable. Um, I haven't, it's been a while since I've done Android app development on Windows. I usually use a Mac or Linux. Um, so like, like right here, I'm on a Mac. So so we can go ahead and run this. And if you're on Windows, I would Google around, Google something like, uh, just just try to figure out, I'll, or I'm trying to think. I don't, don't exactly know how to do it on Windows. But on Mac, let's go ahead and do this. So on Mac, there's a run button up here. So we notice, first of all, I should no notice, I should point out that they're like kind of different screens. There's like structure, there's projects. Um, the defaults are gonna be good right now. You can kind of resize things, but just to get something up and running, let's go ahead and see how we can actually run this on a device or an emulator. So if you have Android Studio, you have access to a lot of emulators. So, the, so you see this screen here, it says, hello world. I'm gonna go up here to the top left of the screen and see this button that says run app, or you can do the keyboard shortcut, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And if you have a device plugged into your Mac or Windows or uh, Linux uh, box right now, you, you'll you probably see it show up here under connected devices, so just plug it in. Um, and you're gonna have to enable developer mode, I think, on uh, and your Android device. So different manufacturers do it differently. Okay, but for now, let's just go ahead and use an emulator. An emulator is kind of like, uh, it's kind of like running a virtual phone. Instead of actually having a device plugged into your computer, you can have it. You can have a device on your screen. It's kind of like it's kind of like a simulator, but it's called an emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and do create. So oh yeah, so I have a couple of devices here that I've used in the past. 
So you're not gonna, I don't think you're gonna see those in the new Android Studio. So go ahead and click create new virtual device. And you have a number of options you can choose from. I'm just gonna select Pixel 2 XL on a phone, Pixel XL 2, and it kinda has some, some information about it. I'm gonna hit next. Uh, then you're gonna need to decide what flavor or what version of Android you wanna pick for your, for your emulator. So um, you can just select Oreo, which is what I would recommend, or whatever it's recommending. There's an, uh, um, Oreo is probably a good choice. I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel here. Um, but if you don't have an emulator already set up, you can hit the Next button and get set up with that. So uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I already have one set up. So it's Pixel XL uh, API number 26. And so, so just, to, just to clarify, so you have your app here. Um, go up to Run, click the button, and then you'll see your emulator here if you just created one. So I have a Pixel XL API 26. I'm going to hit OK. But this will start up. Oh, it's starting up on another screen. Here we go. So this is kind of what this is what your uh, emulator looks like. So you might notice that uh, Gradle Build still running. Um, we'll just give it a couple of minutes and it should load this app. So, and, and depending upon how fast your computer is, it couldn't take a couple of minutes the first time. So here we go, so here's our app. So very cool, it says, uh, you know, Kotlin first app, which is what we named it at the beginning. It has hello world there. So yeah, this is, on the right here, this is pretty much duplicating what's on the left there. Um, so we have our uh, floating action button there and we can swipe it to get rid of that. Uh, we have our hello world there. So we're so this is kind of cool. We're running a very basic app in an emulator. So I want to talk a little bit about how exactly we can customize this app a little bit. Because so this is kind of a basic app. I just want to at least show you some. I just want to at least show you a simple way to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of that because we don't need it right now. And it's and my Mac fan is turning on. There's a it just takes up a lot of processing power. So I'm going to wait for this to close. Okay, cool. So one of the things that you might notice is you see a bunch of file names over here on the left. So the ones we're mainly concerned about is, oh, and actually, so in this mode right here, so on the left side, make sure you have project selected. So project, and then come up to here, and then make sure you have Android selected. And then you see these little icons, you can actually open up there. It's kind of like a folder structure. So open up app, uh, resources, layout, and content main. And if you'll notice, you have tabs up here. So I can open up lots of files. I want to open up that file. I want to open up uh, that. I'm going to open up some maybe some Java files. And I can have a lot of these files opened up. So you can switch between them by using the tabs at the top. You just kind of like select one or the other. So, um, you know, and, and so that's kind of how you manage it. And there are little X's up here next to the tabs. So if you want to close, you know, say I want to close this one, I could just close out of that. But the file we're concerned about is under App, Resources, uh, then Layouts here. And again, I'm in the Android mode there. Okay, so I'm going to double click on Content Main, and it's already open up here, so sure enough. So I'm going to go ahead and see where it says Hello World. I'm going to go ahead and click that button or click that text. And you notice you'll see some kind of blue guidelines. So you see, uh, oh, and also I should point out, uh, there's, you can switch between code mode and um, kind of their layout editor mode, which makes it a little bit easier. Uh, down here at the bottom left, you can switch. This is the code behind it, basically. So this text view and constraint layout and all this kind of stuff, which, which we'll go over, go over in a little bit. But just stick with design mode. Okay, so click on that. And then if you notice, you should see, uh, I think I closed it, but, there, but if you don't see this, um, click attributes over to here on the right side. So on the right side of your screen, click attributes. And you can actually change what this text says. So I'm going to go ahead and search for text. And you can see I, I just did that using, so let me close that again. So you have, so you, so you're open, so you have open content main, it's up here in the tab. Select the element that you want to change, which here is hello world. Um, click on the attributes on the right, and then go to the search box and search for, oh, actually it's open up right here. Um, and I think it's be, it'll be open up on yours also. But see where it says text view, then it says text. So let's name that to Daniel Malone. And I'm going to hit enter. And you'll notice that instantly now over here on the, on the, le on the left side of our app, and I just closed that, but, um, but that's how you get to it anyways. But uh, actually, it's not selecting anything, so that's why you don't see it. But see, our text here is Daniel Malone. So let's go back up to our Run button. I'm going to hit the Run button. 
And then again, if you have a physical device, you'll see it up here and you can double click on your physical device. Otherwise, click on your uh, virtual device and hit OK. This will take probably a couple of seconds to get up. So let's just wait here. And here we are. It says Daniel Malone now. That's pretty cool. So this is your very first basic app. And over the coming months and over the rest of the year, we're going to be modifying this. So be sure to check back um, tomorrow and just keep checking back every day until you know until you feel like you have a good grasp on Android. Okay, so we changed it to Daniel Malone, but there's actually a lot of stuff we can change. So I'm um, trying to think what I can what else I can show. I just kind of wanted to get you started off um, getting something you can run on a physical or virtual device. So to give you a little uh, kind of a view, so what happens behind the scenes is when you change your text there to Daniel Malone, really what it's doing is um, so you change it over there, but really what's going on behind the scenes, you can see if you go to the bottom left and you can see it has design which is selected right there, click on text. And you'll notice that this looks kind of confusing. You see all these, uh, you see Android, you see app, you see uh, constraint layout, you know, you see parent everywhere. Uh, kind of looks kind of complicated, but there's only a couple of there's only really one thing you can you need to modify here at this point well you don't need to modify it but we're gonna modify it just to show you so if I switch back to design mode you'll notice see how it says Daniel Malone if I go back to the text mode which shows us shows us our kind of the code behind what goes on behind the scenes and again we're in content main.xml you'll notice that hey we have a we have a, a we just find find the thing that says Android text equals and so instead of having to select it over here and go to the right and type out something, you'll notice that we could go into our text mode and we can do the same thing here. So we can do visit uh, Daniel Malone. So I'm going to save that and go back to design mode. And now it says visit Daniel Malone. So every day at work, I write probably hundreds of lines, maybe not 100, but I write hundreds of lines of code like this. I've been programming for the last like 13 years now or 13 or 14 years. So I have a really good grasp of what this means. But if you're just coming to Android and you've never programmed before, it's going to be really confusing. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be explaining every day. I'll put out a new video and I'll explain kind of uh, how to get started on, um, you know, what this stuff means, you know, what is bottom to bottom of or left to left of or right to right of. I'm going to go over all that kind of stuff. So, but the important thing to note is, is that we have something up and running. So if I open up my uh, emulator again, you see we have our app called Daniel Malone. Okay, well, I just thought of something else we can change. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click, so I'm in Android right there. And on the left side, on the left side under project, I'm going to click on the icon right there to close everything. Okay, cool. Just getting a drink of water. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up app by double clicking it. Then we're gonna go into resources, values, and there's a file called colors.xml. So if we go back to content main, you'll see, hey, we have this kind of a blue there up the top. And then we have the pink with the mail button. Um, let's go ahead and double click on colors. And this might look kind of confusing and it should be because you maybe you're not used to code or you've never really programmed before at all. But this is not too hard. Once you double click on colors.xml, it will open it up and you'll notice you see primary color, color primary dark, and color, you see the three colors here? These are actually, H, these are kind of like, uh, kind of like a code and it kind of references a certain color. But we don't need to change any of this code. If you'll notice over here on the left, you have the three colors there. We can just click on them once and change it to anything we want to. So I can make it, uh, I can make it red and I can make this one, I can make it a, a blue, and I can make this one. How about some, and normally you'd get these off from your designer, so don't, so don't try to come up with these yourself. Maybe if you're on a smaller app, you might, you might be, you know, designing it yourself. But, uh, but just to get started, I'm going to show you, like, you can choose any color here. And if I go back to Content Man, you can see, hey, the colors change. So now there's red, there's the blue, and there's the kind of the lime green there. This is all coming from the colors. So let's change these a little bit. I want to make that, that color red. And I'm going to make this one, make it a little bit darker. And this one, I'm going to make black. 
So this is how, so instead of actually having to type in the uh, code, um, we can just, I'm gonna do command, and you can do command or control Z to get rid of stuff here, but I'm gonna go back to the black. And if you go back to our content main, you'll notice, hey, now that's the top changed to the red, and then the floating action button is the right. And of course, it still says visit Daniel Malone. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the run button again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click the button run right there. It's the green play icon. And I'm gonna go back to the emulator, open up the emulator, and here it is. So there, you notice how the top is a little bit darker there. Then it's a little bit lighter there, and we have this kind of uh, settings. We can get into settings that way. That's not built yet, but that's something that, that we can build in future videos. But uh, we also have floating. the floating action button is black. So this is kind of your first, uh, hopefully it's not too intimidating. Um, hopefully you kind of, uh, you, you can play around with it a little bit. So you might notice over here if I select, uh, if I select uh, visit Daniel Malone, um, you might be able to know that huh, maybe we can change some stuff. So maybe you want to change it to Android is cool. Enter, and you can change that to whatever you want. Or you might notice, hey, I, maybe you want to change the font size. So how exactly do we do that? One of the things we can do is we can search for it. So go up to, the, so open up, uh, so open up the attributes there and click the search button and go um, text size. And to notice, you have a little drop down. So let's go ahead and make that. We'll make it 36 SP. And now all of a sudden, this Android is text. Is this Android is cool text? Is a whole lot bigger. So let's go ahead and click the run button and I'm going to open up the Android emulator over here. Give that a second. Now it says Android is cool. So this is kind of neat. Like th this is maybe your first program. Uh, maybe it's the first thing you've ever programmed. So the important thing is to, uh, well there, there's a lot going on here but I'm going to go ahead and close that. But uh, one of the things I wanted you to get out of this video is that just to get set up with Android Studio. So go ahead, so go ahead and download it and kind of follow along and use this video as your guide. Um, and then whenever you're ready, whenever it opens up, um, click the, the play icon. And uh, then if you don't have a physical device showing up here, go ahead and click create new virtual device. Um, and then select maybe Pixel 2 XL, go to the next. Um, select uh, probably Oreo and hit next. Uh, then click finish, and that should and then that should show up here. Um, then you can just use this screen to run it. I already had Pixel XL API 26 set up, so um, so yeah, this is kind of hopefully you know Android is cool. Android is constantly getting better. It's never been a better time to become an Android app developer. Um, so hopefully you learn something, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Thanks.